Well, uh, hey, howdy, I started on your project today. Um, <coughs> cosmetically, I don't think we're going to have any issues. I did a, a quick rough buff on the cap to see if it have to be replated. And all the nickel is good and solid, so uh, when I get serious about polishing this, it's going to come out looking really good. The font itself is okay. Um, now, mechanically, here's, here's some issues. The... Uh, end of the generator is set up like this. I really need three hands for the videos. This screws onto the generator. This is the orifice tip. Inside there's a little eccentric block with the pricker point and this is the arm for the eccentric block. This was all tarnished shut. I soaked it good in acid, penetrating fluid, more acid, a little bit of heat. Anyway, I got all this free and working. Now, the problem is, a couple problems. The end of the generator is supposed to screw into the manifold and the air tube assembly. That's what holds the whole lantern together. Somewhere along the line, the threads in there got stripped out. So it doesn't screw in. Um, I'm thinking I might have the right kind of tap so I can clean up those threads so it screws in. There's supposed to be a little set screw that holds everything tight. That's been busted off years ago. I'm going to have to grind that down smooth, re-drill it, and re-tap it for a new screw. The thing is, I'm going to have to get this air intake tube off. And I don't want to you know, put a pipe wrench on it and twist the snot out of it, so I'm going to have to uh, be very, very gentle trying to get that apart so I can fix this. Okay. Threading this and getting this to make up is no big deal, I don't think. Uh, but here's the big deal. The pricker point is gone off of the uh, little up and down gadget. When I took it apart the pricker point was on it but it was bent over flat and the metal was fatigued. When I tried to straighten it a little bit it just fell off. Now I may be able to put a new pricker point on there but the problem is I gotta get that eccentric block out of this assembly to do that and I've been farting around with that for about a half an hour trying to spray all kinds of uh, penetrating fluid, heating it, cooling it, spraying more fluid, talking to it nice, and I can't get this eccentric block out. Um, I don't want to smack it with a hammer from this end. It might deform the brass. It's soft brass, and that's not a part that I have in stock or that I can even make or even know how to get. So right now that guy is the big issue. Um, I'm pretty sure if I can get the block out I'll get out my magnifying glass and endoscope and magnify everything, steal a pricker point from some other generator and see if I can get it in there. But right now I've got it now so you know, when I screw this guy in and turn the lever, it goes up and down like it's supposed to. But that doesn't do much good if it's not poking through. This is the orifice tip. The orifice tip screws into that. Anyway, it screws in there. And that's what clears it. I, I look for light through this, and, and this orifice tip is clogged. But I'm pretty sure I can I can get that free. That's that's kind of a typical problem. I can deal with that. <coughs> Pardon me. But I got to figure out how to get that eccentric block out of there so I can work on it. So anyway, outside of that, good news is cosmetically we're okay. I uh, got the where did they go. I don't know where they're somewhere. Over there. I got the burner tubes off. Didn't wreck them. Your collar. I haven't done anything to the collar yet, but just looking at it through the tarnish, this thing is going to buff up and look new, so there's no issues on that. 
so we're good to go there. We talked about making a filler cap out of this. That's that's going to be good to go. So anyway, today's the day I started. I'll be working on it. I, I got about four things in the air, and I got somebody coming over to pick up a lantern, but um, I'll keep you posted. All right, there we go. Thanks, cousin. Appreciate it. Goodbye.